Hey guys, how's it going? Welcome back. Stop doing this to your SSDs. You're killing the poor things. So, this is my Western Digital Drive. It's a one terabyte Express 3. It's rated for 35 by 35. Does it quite well internally on a PC. Of course, Max, we can't put NVMe M.2 drives inside. Heck, we can't put anything inside anymore. But, nonetheless, this is not safe. Uh, I put this drive with this stuff on it into my PC laptop when I got it back from repair the last time because we figured, oh, we should be safe now. Let's put our junk back in. So I also had, instead of putting a Kingston 3000 back in to my um, main drive slot as a C drive, I decided to go with a Crucial 2 terabyte. Twice the storage, twice the fun. Besides, 1 terabyte was starting to get a little slim with all my games. So I figured, well, let's upgrade now. We should be good at ter 2 terabyte. Now the drive, even though it's only 5,000 uh, megabytes per second, it actually runs much, much more over, which is like fantastic. Um, loving the new drive. But I put this as my dump drive or D drive for data only. And with this silicone pad and the metal heat sink, this thing was idling at 56 degrees. And I'm like, seriously, like, that's way too hot um, for the drive, okay? Um, so I thought, let's do a speed test. 62, 63, 67 degrees. I'm like, what the heck? Like, I've never had a drive. Now, keep in mind, first time using this drive with the added protection. Oh, you need these silicone pads and you need the heat shield over top because the silicone pads got to get held on somehow because, yeah, just on its own, it's just going to fall off even on a desktop computer, right? So you need this metal plate on here, okay? Problem is, when you put the silicone on here, I'm going to unravel this, I don't know why, but when you put the, the silicone pad on the drive, you're putting it over top of the chips, okay, which... We'll just pop that on here, okay? So when it's on the chips, you gotta kind of literally push this stuff down so that it sticks properly. But either way, you do have side ventilation, which if all you used was this, it might run a couple of degrees cooler than what it was. Unfortunately, the amount of heat that gets created by NVMe drives, well, this would just kind of like fall off anyways, right? So none of these are that great all by themselves. So anyway, um, but when you slide this over top, well, guess what? You don't have that side access or open area that the silicon already had. You don't have that side access for cooling anymore. It's now being totally suffocated and enclosed. Now, there are a lot of drives on the market. I actually had one by um, XPG that had a metal plate that was literally soldered onto the top of the drive, like you're not taking it off but there was no rubber silicone anywhere that I could see. And if there was, it was over each individual chip where it needed to be, so you wouldn't even get a visual. But plenty of airflow, lots of space there for air to go through and cool, and it ran exceedingly well in my tower desktop, okay? And it also ran exceedingly well in my HP laptop that I had, so it's kind of like, well, that's fine, you know, and it's designed. Now, I don't know. I can't verify if there was silicone pad in there from the factory or not. Didn't appear to be so. It looked kind of empty inside to me. So it was more, more or less like a, a, a hovering plate that as the heat hit it, it expelled the, the, the heat faster and it would be able to draw in air from all angles and sides because it had plenty of gap space. These stupid things close everything off and suffocate them so your drive right on boot up is already running hotter right now i have run this drive or one of my sn uh which one is this anyways i have two of these that are exactly the same sn 570 i have another one of these sitting actually in an external sabrent case and i've been experimenting with cooling on it too with just having the silicone pad there because it's an enclosed case and I had to add extra pad on top of the pad that came built in because that pad didn't even touch the drive. So I added that on. And I have noticed that without 
anything touching the top of these drives, they run cooler even in external cases. When you have that silicone on there, it actually runs hotter. Now, it doesn't matter if you're using it as a, as a boot drive or if you're using it as a data drive. Once you've got silicone sitting on top of these chips, these drives run a lot hotter. And when I'm idling at 56 inside my PC laptop with this thing and it's doing nothing, that's pretty bad. That's, that's quite a bit of heat. You know, that's really not acceptable. We're talking 56 Celsius, not Fahrenheit, Celsius. So do the Fahrenheit math on that thing, okay? This thing broke over 60 some degrees just doing a speed test with the silicone and the shield on there inside my laptop. And I have a cooling plate underneath, right? And it's always on when the computer's on because I want to keep the drives and my RAM that much cooler because my RAM has no protection on it. And I don't believe in the protection systems either because they tend to be worse off than having nothing. It tends to be better to have nothing than to have something on them in this case because in my experimenting, it seems to be proving itself that this by itself is not a good thing. And when combined with this, which is now suffocating all the sides, so nothing can get in there at all, it's even worse, right? So, but you can't just use this because this alone is not going to stay. Because in your laptop, your drive hangs upside down, right? So it's going to be chips down, and this isn't going to stay there. The amount of heat that gets generated in gaming laptops is massive compared to like a basic machine, which... Basic machines don't need anything on them. I've never seen a basic level computer or a non-gaming laptop, for example, that had any kind of cooling uh, pads or anything on it from the factory. Okay, now I did it with the XPG because the XPG, like I said, it was soldered on heat shield, can't take it off. And I did that inside of a laptop that had <laughs> like minimalized venting for one. Did have a pretty good fan though. But the fan is for exhausting the hot air out. It doesn't really draw anything in through those little holes. There is a lot of ventilation on the bottom of my gamer laptop on that plate. Um, and there's two fans. But the fans, one is for the GPU, one is for the CPU. And they're in direct area to those chips to pull the hot air out. Okay, They're not really drawing anything in because they're way up here and your drives are way down here. So it's kind of like, well, they can't do anything. Your RAM is sitting, you know, right over here underneath your um, w, uh, WASD keys, okay? So, yeah, it's, I have no protection on my RAM. Now, from the factory, the drive and the RAM that came with this actually had these metal sticker type things um, that were of their form of a cooler, right? So plenty of airflow gets in between and all around, no big deal, and being that it's metal... Uh, on a sticker, the way it contacts, it has no harm to anything. And they actually work quite well, you know, and the RAM was running pretty decently. But the RAM I replaced with, I went from 16 gigs to the end at 64 gigs. Um, I have no protection on my RAM chips, okay? None, zero, zip. And uh, the only protection on my drives that I currently have in here, one is a Kingston 3000 Express 4 that's in an Express 3 slot because it's one terabyte. I have the two terabyte now as my C drive. Um, it has its own little metal thing from the factory and they run quite nice. They actually run in the 30s um, with no issues, which is about where this thing runs with no protection on it inside that computer. And it's never hit the red zone, even under a super heavy load um, of you know doing like a massive copy, like a right cycle to the drive. It didn't really bark, you know, but what it did with this garbage on here, that was nasty. Idling at near 60 degrees as it was and pushing 65, 67 on a speed test? Come on. I've speed tested a lot of drives and they barely even break a sweat. Even running Cinebench, my drives barely break that much of a sweat, right? And Cinebench is pretty hard on a drive with all that writing and stuff it's doing. But it's also, it's making the computer work, it's making the drive work at the same time, and of course your processor, GPU, etc. right? They don't break a sweat. So stop using this silicone garbage. I don't care who makes it. I don't care if it costs you $50 for just one. 
it's not helping you out any okay I don't find it does in my experience um, with using this stuff even as an external drive and I still have this drive here which has the exact same drive in it which on the surface there is absolutely no protection this is a different brand of silicone okay that I have sitting on top of the factory one that's part of the case this doesn't even touch your drive okay I had to add a two millimeter sheet to actually touch it so that I can compress it down and it, it actually sits on there <coughs> and I do find that in my experimenting there's definitely a huge difference in temperature using that versus not using it okay so it's kind of like well I guess that'll be coming off too because it's not helping the case internally or externally to keep anything really cooler right and there's absolutely no airflow in this case okay my Oracle case where the other one came out of there's lots of airspace in here but there is no ventilation in these cases whatsoever okay no air can escape the case except maybe a little bit through the port even when it's plugged in you might get something out of there but not much these things actually are pretty hot to the touch even though the drives are not really all that hot okay so in my conclusion it causes more harm than good okay now dry there are drives that must have cooling plates on them but these are specific drives from manufacturers and they've manufactured the drive because it's going to run so hot they do have a way of making them run cooler properly without suffocating the drives either with this sort of thing okay now how well or efficient that works I have no idea but these drives are going to be found in desktops this is where you're going to buy them to use them in you will not be using something with a one inch tall heatsink on it inside of a laptop so you've got to take all these things in consideration also in a desktop you've got air that's being drawn in generally from the front and expelled out the back and maybe even up the top depending on your setup my last desktop it was pulling air in and it was expelling it out the top and away from my CPU at the same time as my CPU had its fan um, and then of course it expels everything out the, the back so that kind of a drive system works because the air is constantly at that big uh, big heat sink to keep it running cooler okay for all we know maybe they use just thermal paste on those things we have no idea unless we disassemble one now on my XPG it was just a soldered on metal plate and I couldn't see any kind of silicone or anything in there um, it looked like it was all just free airspace and it was just more of a shielding thing that when the heat hit the ceiling which is the plate the plate would get warm but it would constantly be cycling cool air even in the laptop so it kept everything running much cooler that was a great design but this sort of thing with this stuff and then something that blocks everything off on top of that no it's garbage and even for what this allows through the sides it can't once the heat once the shield is on right it suffocates it 100 percent closes it off which explains why it runs so hot same as this it runs hotter oh now it finally stuck on there um it runs hotter because there is no airflow in here in this case whatsoever so even this makes this run hotter so we take that off i guarantee you this thing here doesn't even touch the chips okay but now there's a little bit of airflow there and that silicone whatever it's doing who knows but my drive does run much cooler in this case with just this setup as opposed to having this on there which will actually touch the drive because I like to see if things are missed or or not right you guys know I do a lot of experimenting and this is what I have come to conclusions on recently is with this sort of thing it's not a good healthy solution for your drives it's going to cause them more damage than it is good okay so I would say don't use the, the that added protection um, not in a laptop at least in a desktop if you want to use added protection buy a drive that's specifically set that way um, from the factory with its own heatsink that already comes with it 
um, and already installed because it's for a desktop only. You're not, like I said, you're not going to use something with a one inch tall heat sink inside of a laptop. There's no room in laptops for that. But even in laptops, don't use any of this garbage. Even if it has one of these plates, don't use them because it's going to destroy your drive in the end. It's, it's not going to go well long term, okay? So, but run your own test if you like. See what your conclusions are compared to mine. But this is what I've been going through. And um, the last few days, um, like yesterday, I took my laptop apart, put my KC3000 uh, back in there. Now, like I said, it is an Express 3 slot, so it can't run full speed because that's being taken up by a, a two terabyte Express 4 drive. Um, but I figured, well, I'm gonna take this out and I'm gonna do other experiments on this. And my conclusions came to the same thing, that even externally in the Oracle case, this thing runs way too hot with the silicon on there uh, and, the, and the plate. But the plate has to be there to hold the silicon on there, right? So it's kind of like, ah, you know. So I have run this drive without any protection in the Oracle, as well as, you know, the Sabrent as well. Like I said, this never actually touches your drive. Why they do it, we don't know. But this is the exact same drive too. And these drives run much, much cooler with nothing on them, okay? Even in an enclosed case like these that have no air ventilation, they are still running way cooler without that added stuff. So that means, better health, better life, way you go. Anyways, thanks for watching. Hope you enjoyed the video. Uh, stay tuned and we'll see what's coming up next. See ya.